Hello friends, in this video let's talk about couple of SSRS inbuilt functions. So these functions really help us to do some mathematical calculations in the report design or development. But if you are planning to do complex calculations in the report design, again uh, the, this might degrade the report performance you need to identify a correct place to do the calculations either it's a report design or in a sql server query if it is too complex in doing the calculations at the sql server query side then better to come and do in a report design so here if you are doing more calculations in the report design then report rendering time might increase than a retrieval time, data retrieval time. <clears throat> so anyway, let's talk about uh, these round or ceiling functions in SSRS uh, uh, report uh, development. <clears throat> so both works little similar actually. So both gives a whole number. If you give decimal as an input, it gives you the whole number as an output. So let me show you what is the difference actually here. So here I am planning to show you uh, uh, data uh, from AdventureWorks. Okay, so I will be using a table of purchase order detail and product table. So which is joined with the help of inner join. And I am using product ID as a, a key between these two tables to join it. So when I run the query, I will be getting 8845 records. And if you see the name of the product is something due date is something, order quantity, unit price, line total, uh, received quantity, rejected quantity and stock quantity. <coughs> so I, I am focusing more on a decimal values actually. So unit price and line total. So where I am planning to apply uh, the ceiling or round of functions to this. Okay. So now uh, before talking about a design, what is the difference actually? Okay. In the ceiling function, so in the ceiling function, so if I pass a value of 0 0.1, sorry, 0 0.1 to a ceiling function, it gives you the output as next nearest whole number 1. Okay. Even if I pass 0 0.6, also it gives you the next whole number as 1. Even if I pass 0 0.9, it gives you the next whole number as 1. Okay. If I pass 2, then it gives only 2 because it's whole number. Okay. So if I give 2.1, it gives 3. So when do I get 2 is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. That is the, uh, that's how my ceiling is going to work. Now let's come to the round. So this round function works little similar to the SQL round functions. Okay. So if I pass the same values here, then let me show you what would be the output of it. So if I pass 0 0.1, it gives you the output as 0. So if I pass 0 0.6, it gives you the output as 1. If I pass 0 0.9, it gives you output as um, 1. If I pass 2, 2. If I pass 2.1, I'll get output as 2. It means that, so if the value, let us say, it, 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 it checks for it. If it is value between 0 to uh, 0.5 or 0.4 it gives you the lower value as a result okay if it is 6 to 0.9 then it 0.6 i mean so 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 means it gives you the next value so let us say it is one point means uh, uh, the lowest value will come the uh, means a uh, previous value will come for this you will get the, the next value actually so this is how round will uh, work actually now if you understand the difference here so you will get the next whole number in the ceiling case, but round function works like this. If it is a point up to 0.4, you will get the least number. If it is after uh, 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 minutes, you will get the next whole number. So let's quickly come to the uh, report uh, to uh, to see the difference in a practical manner. Let's quickly create a, a data source. I have a shared data source with me. Let me use it and let me come to the data set. So I'm planning to use a specific data set for this. The query is ready. Let's quickly come here. Where is the query? Yeah, this is the query. Come here and put the query here. Okay. 
now let's quickly take the table here so let's take the name uh, due date and uh, order quantity and see the output here okay so yeah output is coming perfect but the header is not coming i know that this is a visual studio issue nothing to worry so you do not need to do anything if i export that value it automatically comes that is a behavior sometimes it is not working maybe due to the caching or something but yeah here you got the thing now let's come here let me add one more uh, here in the left let me add here as a stock by quantity go to the preview okay now i got this for this it is not coming let's not uh, focus on that okay so let me increase this okay so if you come here i have a, a line total okay line total unit price if you see unit price is a decimal number line total is also decimal and so on all are decimal or both are decimal only now let's use a ceiling so how to use a ceiling actually here is you need to use a ceiling in the expressions add a new column let's come to here let me add a heading as a ceiling i'm just keeping a, a, a general ceiling word only here to understand in a better way go to the um, expression select the cell click on expression there you need to write so uh, 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 i am telling ceiling is a default ssrs function so can i see those list of functions what are all the other functions which are available in uh, ssrs is so if you see in the left side in the category you have constants built in fields parameters fields data sets variables operators and common functions let's expand the common functions you have a couple of common functions text date and time math ceiling round these kind of functions will come under math section and you have other uh, sections as well inspection program flow aggregate financial conversation miscellaneous let's select the math so once you select the math you can see what list of available math functions in ssrs so if you observe closely here there is a ceiling function so once you select ceiling function you can read the description the purpose of ceiling you can read it returns the smallest integer greater than or equal to the specified double precision floating point number okay you can use uh, like this you have a couple of examples as well similarly if you scroll little down you will be having round as well okay round say double precision floating point uh, to the nearest integer now let's take the ceiling one so double click on ceiling or you can drag and drop the ceiling okay or you can write it ceiling of once you off it ceiling expects a decimal as well as double also okay now let's put it as a, uh, a decimal value which we thought of uh, let me use a um, uh, unit price okay that's it keep the unit price value and click on okay so let's go to the output here so here line total i used uh, let me check this what value i used it so that i can is a unit price so i am going to put it as a iphone up unit price just to uh, compare it actually so here it is 50.26 i am getting 51 45.12 i am getting 46 45.58 46 see even though the 45.12 is very nearest to the 45 still i got 46 45.58 maybe little near to 46 but still i am getting 46 and 10 point uh, 16 point 0 8 17 that means so when you try to seal this value you will get the next whole number only everywhere if you see here anywhere 26.36 27 you got it now the, for the same unit price let's apply a round quickly come to the design let's add a new value new row so new column come here let me increase it let me make it as a mm, here as a uh, round iphone uh, unit price i am not using line total anyway yeah let's come here click on expression now same way let's put it as a round as i already told you round is already there i already showed you to see where what are all the list of functions round of let me see what is this function is see math so uh, round off uh, let me go to the um, fields uh, unit price okay so you can see the syntax uh, no issues found here click on okay now let's come to the um, output now if you see here so uh, 50.26 you are getting 51 in the ceiling 50 in um, uh, round up uh, uh, unit price here 45.12 46 45 now see the difference here so here in 45.12 you are getting the uh, the uh, previous number 45 here 45.58 you are getting 46 now you can clearly observe the difference between ceiling and round 
now you need to decide uh, the scenario for the best scenario for ceiling as well as round so if you want the next immediate whole number go to the ceiling if you want um, uh, uh, this logic which i showed you up to 0.4 you want to go to the previous number you use that if it is more than 0.5 you want to go for next number you use that so now based on your business requirement now you need to decide so what uh, um, uh, rounding function we have to use even uh, some people call ceiling is also a kind of rounding function only but there are a slight differences see here um, now when you're dealing with uh, money actually so the slight difference at the end it becomes a huge actually if you sum of all these numbers in the ceiling up you will get one figure if you if sum of the round up you'll get some value so since i have 8000 records i might see more differences when i go when i sum up all the details so now you need to decide based on the business requirement and need so not only this uh, round and all you have a other uh, lot of functions in the um, uh, ssrs as i mentioned you can go to the math and you can apply r and d also something like that returns a random number of okay that's a different okay so round and even you can apply a square root and all there are other other um, uh, 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 system defined functions in ssrs so let's talk about uh, some more functions in the uh, next session so I'll, I'll show you a couple of text and date time um, as well you can see format and all uh, date and time uh, functions as well in the uh, next couple of sessions and also you have miscellaneous functions in scope the level lookup um, lookup set multi lookup previous row number and all we talked about all couple of functions in the previous discussions so that's it and also we have operators as well arithmetic comparison concatenation logical bit shift and all so that's it let let's uh, um, meet in the uh, next session so if you have any questions in msbi i'm sure power bi and sql server please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching